Welcome back. Well, we've got mostly clear skies out there right now and the ground is snow free. I know we've been talking a lot about the potential for snow uh, over the past week about the potential for snow this week, but it's looking like now that snow is going to be the least impact in our weather leading up to Thanksgiving and we're going to be looking more at the potential for some strong winds coming up on Wednesday. Doesn't mean we're not going to see any snow. We are looking at isolated snow showers Monday and Tuesday here in the inland northwest, but the highest amounts look like only around an inch in the valley locations and then here in Spokane we could see a little to no accumulation, which means we could also end the month of November essentially snow free because we have not had any measurable snow yet. All right, so isolated snow possible on Monday and Tuesday, then things start to dry out. But well, we're going to start to see some pretty strong winds Tuesday night and then all day Wednesday and we could potentially see gusts over 40 miles per hour. So we're monitoring that closely for the potential for uh, wind uh, power outages and some tree damage due to those strong winds. And of course, you need power to cook that turkey on Thursday morning. So definitely we'll be monitoring that afterwards. Once we get to Thanksgiving, it's just going to be cold and dry. So bundle up and Thanksgiving will be fine with uh, your Black Friday shopping weather looking dry and chilly on the weather map right now. North West flow across the inland northwest. You can see pretty quiet conditions. A little bit of snow shower activity in the Cascades, and that's about it. Uh, next weather makers, this upper level low pressure system, but it's going to be diving into northern California, so we're not really going to get the brunt of that storm. Just a chance for a few light snow showers. The biggest impact will be in those higher elevations. Stevens Pass could see a little bit of accumulating snow. The Blues, Central Panhandle a little bit, but again, not a lot. If you're doing any air travel, here's a look at Wednesday's kind of uh, broad brush forecast here. Of course, we're looking at windy conditions here in the northwest. Portland and Seattle, if you have connections there, partly sunny skies, no problems on Wednesday. Two areas where you might see some snow, Salt Lake City Airport, some snow showers less than an inch though. Minneapolis, some snow showers also less than an inch. And then either dry conditions or rain because we have some pretty mild conditions expected on Wednesday across the U.S. Highs in the middle and upper 40s from St. Louis, 50s in Cincinnati near 70 in Atlanta and in Dallas and Little Rock temperatures in the 50s. So no winter stormy weather there. Again, some snow showers in Salt Lake, but elsewhere from Phoenix, to Albuquerque, Denver, looking at dry conditions. So not looking any major travel headaches. So great news there. Future tracker bringing some clouds in for tomorrow. Again, isolated snow showers and then some snow for the Cascades and then across the central panhandle and down from the Palouse into Lewiston, but generally light amounts. And then as we move into Tuesday, again, the chance for some isolated snow showers, but very little accumulation expected to impact your travel. Partly cloudy skies for tonight down to 27 degrees and then for tomorrow no more 40s. We're only going to have highs in the upper 30s, isolated snow showers, light winds, and it just gets colder. Wednesday's highs in the lower 30s and on Thanksgiving that turkey is not shivering for no reason. Overnight lows, early morning temperatures in the teens and highs on Thanksgiving only in the upper 20s. And you can see it doesn't really get any warmer from there. Teens on Friday, Saturday and Sunday morning, even down to 12 degrees Saturday and highs only in the 20s. Ooh. Chilly. It's yeah. a good thing that Thanksgiving is more of an inside holiday. Definitely. Not like <laughs> Easter or something where you have to be outside, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and you can just put on stretchy pants and sweats and get the fireplace you know, running. And eat a couple times, take a nap <laughs> and go back and eat more. And Remember, you want to shovel any snow. That's true. That's a good point. And then we were talking about Black Friday. You know, it's going to be super cold for people that choose to wait in line. Yeah. You and I both agree. We online are more of online shoppers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Michelle, thank you.